Okay, so today we are going to upgrade this first generation uh, D12 uh, hot end to the new style hot end. And uh, we have a few printer, uh, roughly about 200 pieces with the uh, first like this. And then all of the rest are with the new hot end. So uh, the hot end has uh, many advantages. So we will do upgrading. And uh, when you receive upgrading pack, so you have one of the hot end and one of the double uh, extruding system and two bolts. So now lose the bolts so we can disassemble the old one. Disassemble the four locking bolts. Two on the top and two on the side. Third, the false. Okay, take off the the wing shroud so we can see the inside. And now we can easily move the the inside frame off. Okay, on the top there are two bolts, so we need to disassemble them. It's uh, this is not hex uh, screw, so you need a, a cross driver to take the two bolts off. All right, I put it aside. So now. It's like this, and we are going to put the new hot end to replace the old one. And we need to take off the two bolts of the fan so we can disassemble the fan. You may for forget a the f where to locate the fan so we can put the fan onto the new one so we disassemble one and we install one into the new hot end by this way you won't miss any component all right so the fan is installed okay Let's go to the next one. Next, uh, uh, thymister and hot end by this two. This is a thymister. So lose the bolt, so you can take the a thymister bubble off the. And also, this is a M3 set screw. Locate it and turn. All right, just lose it so you can get this off. Okay, off, off. Probably we have to we have to take up these two belts so that we can get the hot end off. Now, lose the two bolts. All right, so now we, we take the full hot end off. Now, we put the new one, install it. All right, so now we need to invert the heating tube. After inverting, it's moving. It's not 
slightly fit in, we need to lock it. M3 set a screw. Tight it. It won't be too much, and it's okay. And second, locate the a thermistor location. Invert the bubble into the hole. And another hole is for the locking bolt. Put the washer. We must use the washer to avoid damage the insulate cover of the sinister. So locate it into the hole and also leave, leave the hole off. Okay, into the hole. This may require some of skill. Into the hole and leave some space for the belt to go through. All right, you can use hand. All right, so we turn a few turns, so we locate it, and then we tight the screw. Make sure we'll leave some space. It won't happen to be very tight. Never break the insulate cover of your semester, or it will short and uh, will show the 200 degree or 300 degree because of the break of the uh, insulate cover. So like this way, this is uh, well located and tidy. And uh, we try to uh, make the, the cable neat into the hole so that it won't interfere. Each other, okay. Uh, we need to install the shroud. Okay, you see this is an interlate connector. We put it to the interlate connector. Okay, and locate the hole and tight the bolt. Two bolt. All right, okay, the second belt. It's a cross wrench, so it's easily to be installed. And then located into the space, the frame location, to match the, the four belt. You tight it, you can see the hole. It's uh, really good. Go through and then invert the bolt and lock it. All right. Okay, the second bolt. Invert and tight. You another hand to, to tight, to locate the, it will. So match it and tighten the belt. All right, the last one, last belt for the frame. Locate it and tight. All right, uh, you can see here, make sure the, the cable is neat. It won't interfere the other component. You push a little bit so it can uh, can touch the frame, not the hot end. Okay, now this is uh, well installed, and we can install the sh the shroud, the wind shroud, and tighten it. All right, most of them are done. 
Now the top a two way connector. Located and match the hole and tightly tight the belt. Yeah. Okay, we, we will leave some space so we can do a little adjustment. Then we tighten the second one to match the hole. It's uh, easy for you to match. All right, the first one tight, second one tight. All right, congratulations. You have finished the upgrading to the new style two-way connector, hot end. Thank you for your watching.